board exams. Um, I was about 15, 16 and uh, a friend of mine comes to me and she tells me that she wants to take her life. The first thought in my head was, why? Current literature talks about how suicidal ideation or the thought of wanting to kill yourself is not something to be questioned in the first place. Why should we ask why? The idea is to acknowledge the fact that it even exists. If I want to kill myself or if someone wants to kill their, themselves, it's a thought. And our job is to acknowledge that it's there and then work from there. We have a misplaced understanding of what suicide is or what it means to the person who feels that way. You know, either by saying, why all this suicide and all? Or, you know, after all I've done for you, is this how you repay me? Or just calling it wrong? Or blaming it on the person who wanted to commit suicide? All of this only strengthens the taboo, adds to the stigma. WHO says that about 8 lakh people in the world commit suicide every year. And this number, as alarming as it seems, is not okay. Our first step to making things different for people who, want to f who feel this way and want to commit suicide would be to talk about it, openly discuss it, and create an environment where this can be shared and acknowledged. Because thinking about suicide is not wrong, but it happens and it needs to be acknowledged.